let's dive right in. It's been quite the year, and I wanted to wrap up 2021 and look ahead to 2022. The past year, the channel has grown to just under 5,000 subscribers. When I started out, I could not have anticipated the audience or the interest in the often specialized content I make. And a huge part of that has come from viewer suggestions. So many thanks to the people who have made requests. You have helped me to continue to build this community. This past year, the channel recorded 192,000 views with around 10,000 watch hours. I had fantastic discussions with scientists, artists, enthusiasts, and everyone in between, both in the comments on the channel, on Twitter, and through email correspondence. CG Figures even picked up its first few academic citations, and as a point of personal pride, they were in publications dedicated to accessible teaching resources, very in keeping with the mission of the channel. My website went live, as did the development blog. There were 57 video uploads on the YouTube channel alone, there were over 5,000 downloads of free public domain models split roughly evenly between Gumroad and BlendSwap. CG Figures saw growth to over 1,000 followers on Twitter, and in doing so, I have discovered an amazing community of scientists ready and able to wield Blender to its fullest extent. New tutorial channels have popped up, and new releases of Blender itself are changing the landscape of what this software is going to do for working scientists everywhere. One of the things I wanted to do with CG Figures when I started out was find a way to give back to Blender from the scientific community. In reality, I think we could be doing more, particularly through the pursuit of research grants, as free resources are often provided and maintained without sufficient institutional support. Many outstanding Python projects come to mind on that front. For my small part, I have run CG Figures as a bronze level supporter of the Blender Development Fund since I first thought of the idea, well before I recorded or uploaded the first video. I'm happy to announce that starting this year, I'll be bumping that contribution up to silver and will be setting official goals for moving to higher tiers based on Patreon support. The move to silver is possible thanks to the continued support of Patreon members and through the generosity of people who tip a bit when picking up the assets. The channel really does not make that much money, but to me, it was always important that some amount of that go back towards supporting the tool that we all use and love. 2021 was a difficult year, and the last few months in particular have been very demanding of my time. That said, I've finally managed to set aside a priority schedule for the channel and fully intend to make more regular content in the coming year. From community showcases, new tutorials, awesome assets, and a few new formats, together I sincerely hope we can keep bringing better figures to working scientists everywhere in a free, friendly, and fundamentally open way. From here, I'd like to give a brief rundown of what to expect in 2022. The main thing I want to reach for is consistency. Ideally, I'll be targeting three videos a month, with the release of at least one asset as well. The videos will be a split of community showcases, specialized and basic tutorials, and a new, slightly more informal format where I do a walkthrough and break down or recreate specific figures or figure styles. The reality is that my tutorials are highly scripted to try to respect both the viewer's time and also to provide a densely packed video that is accessible to beginners. A 15 minute video of that sort often requires several hours of testing different routes, doing recordings, final recordings, editing, double checking the edits, and then segmenting everything before it all gets uploaded. The less formal style of video will hopefully be a chance to have a bit more fun with these topics and will cater to a slightly more advanced crowd while hopefully still being good enough to follow along with. If it works out, I may turn it into a regular live stream of some sort. I really also want to build on the development blog this year, where I'll post shorter tutorials and commentaries on science, research, and scientific graphics. In terms of assets, I have a never-ending backlog, and my current project is something that I'm really excited about. The power supply model that I released recently, along with aluminum extrusions and standard NEMA 17 stepper motors, are a portion of that, and many of these things have taken hours to do. I will probably make a video breaking down some of it at some point, along with many of the resources that I use to actually make these things. This year, I'm really hoping to build up a library of open hardware assets so that people can pre and model a lot of the things that they'd like to do in labs with no financial barrier. I also want to add and expand the glassware sets, some new molecules, and focus really heavily on, again, those hardware components. In addition, depending on the updates to geometry nodes coming in Blender 3 and 3.1, I'll be putting some very serious time into making an add-on for importing molecules into geometry nodes directly, so that we can do some of the real Houdini-esque magic that you see accomplished by folks like Stuart Jansen of Biocinematics, who I've previously featured, and he's definitely worth checking out on YouTube if you haven't already. And that note is where I'd really like to leave off for 2021 and move on into 2022 on the subject of community. It is an enormous privilege to be part of the Blender community and especially the Blender scientific community. 
I can't possibly list all the people who have made an impact on the channel this year without tripling or quadrupling the video length. The takeaway point is that the community is growing, it is a great place to be, and as Ton said in his keynote address for Blender this year, it's always been about the people. In a year that was filled with challenges and more than a bit of hardship, the community has been consistently great to come back to. Thank you all for making this a fun and worthwhile effort. Thank you for sharing your work with me and for all your kind words. I really look forward to seeing what we can build together in 2022. So as always, thanks for coming out. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, you have yourselves a great old day and a fantastic 2022.